a hundred years ago, during, you know, Oil River's most violent storms, a grotesque legend was born. A legend so terrifying that even the most hardened seamen trembled at the very thought of its existence. The beast is said to be at least ten feet long, with eyes that burn into your very soul, like the fiery pits of hell. Many he said to take a look in the foul beast in its eye, is kin to looking death in the eyes and taking your last breath. Each scale shines as bright as a full moon in the darkest of nights, and are as tough as the hardest sea bomb. The mention of his very name is believed to be a curse. Mourning of the world's greatest fishermen, he prized the beast. But yin by yin, they have all fallen. Some of the bonniest of vessels have been swallowed whole by the sea thanks to the might of whiskerless beat, the mightiest carp of the Ottawa River. I was close by too as well by whiskerless beat after he escaped my clutches. Morning and night I have been visited in my dreams by terror. He wants and plagues my very existence. If the beast were sure to be tamed, it would take a man of iron patience, the sharpest of wits and the nerves of steel. A man who is a yin with his inner peace. A man who couldn't be swayed or corrupted by the evil creatures that lurk in the depths of the darkest seas. Cities would be named and monuments raised in its honour. The world's greatest fishermen would be named by all. No, 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 I am the world's greatest fisherman, I am. No, no. Ah, oh, whiskerless Pete. No, no! Mike, I think you're having a bad dream. Uh huh? What? You're having a bad dream. Are you okay? No, I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm okay. And. Uh, wait, what the hell are you doing in here anyway? Host Mike Sislak. Here we are at the Ottawa River in search of Whiskerless Pete, the world's greatest carp. To prove once and for all, I am the world's greatest fisherman. So, Mike, uh, how are you going to go about catching this elusive fish? Well, I know a lot about car I know a lot about the area, but I also have an ace up my sleeve. Oh yeah, what's that? It just looks like an old pack of cigarettes filled with garbage. To the layman it does, but in reality it's worth its weight in gold. Is that what you bought off that guy in the alley? Yeah, it was the best $500 I ever spent. $500? But you don't even pay me. You don't deserve to be paid. This is pure gold. This tells us exactly where we're going to catch the elusive carp. Okay. Well, see, right here. I'm excited to see it work. What are you looking at? Lazy geese and ducks. Mike, I don't think it's a good idea to antagonize them. I don't know all their stupid babies. Last thing we need is more geese. You know, this, this, this is their uh, home. We're, we're guests here. Their home. Are you okay? Yeah. You know, this uh, probably isn't the best time for me to remind you of this, but you wanted me to remind you to cut down on the swearing. Talk not to me of blasphemy, man. I would strike down the sun if it assaulted me. Is that from Moby Dick?
What's Moby Dick? It's a book. Oh, it's kind of scary that you haven't heard of that. Well, ignorance is the parent of fear. So Mike, I don't get it. Uh, is the common carp actually a rare species? Well, that's a stupid question. Okay. So next time, what are you going to do? Try another spot? Or, or No, no. The key to this is, see the bay here? Carp come in and they breed in the bay. There's a rocky ledge that eventually cuts us off. So once that happens, then they move back out. So right now it's key time because they come in here to feed in the middle of the bay. And so that's when you want to target them when they're at their weakest. It's a, it's a, it's a battle of wit. You have to outsmart the carp before they outsmart you. Well, oh, that, that could be hard. Not really. When you're the world's smartest and greatest fisherman, that just comes naturally. You have to think like a carp to catch a carp. Mike, you've taught me so much over the years about uh, fishing and, and so many different topics. You're, you're so knowledgeable about everything. What I was thinking, though, I, I, I feel like I should repay you by sharing something with you that I'm very passionate about. Oh, thank you. Well, but Mike, you have to understand that global warming is a serious issue that affects us all. But Jay, you have to understand, I just don't give a f See, this is the point where they start to turn brown and turn from cute little ducklings to stupid geese. Yeah, you heard me, jackass. I think he did hear you. I think I'm going to try a bit more out in the bay there. Maybe I'll have better luck there. There we go, we got something. That was it. That was the fish. That was everything. All the steaks. Oh. Chips were on the table. I lost it. Son of a Well, maybe, uh, maybe the hook just didn't stay in its mullet. I mean, gullet. I was world good fishing. Mother This fish is gonna kill me. 
I was so close. Do you want to call it quits for today and try again another time? Never. I'll catch this fish up to the last of me. To the last I grapple with thee. From hell's heart I stand with thee. For hate's sake I spit at you with my last breath. I'm Mike Sislak. World's greatest fisherman. Still world's greatest fisherman. I don't have to prove nothing to you Valued. viewers. World's greatest fisherman. Signing off and don't forget to hit subscribe or else. Does that mean the fish outsmarted you, Mike? No, I let him win this one. <laughs>